From Afghanistan, the saddest nation in the world right now, to the happiest country on the planet, here are the five saddest and the top 10 happiest countries in the world. This list is based on the World Happiness Report, which asks thousands of people to rate their lives on a scale of 1 to 10. Let's start with number 147, Dystopia 1.83. This isn't a real country, but the Happiness Report uses it to show how sad a place could get. It combines all the worst features of other countries, like Chad's life expectancy of 53 and Burundi's GDP of just a few hundred dollars per capita. The people living in this made-up country get a happiness score of less than 2 out of 10. It's meant to be the saddest place imaginable. But the next country on our list, which actually exists, doesn't score too much higher. Number 146. Afghanistan, 2.40. Afghanistan scores badly in almost every measure of human development, from education to GDP to healthcare. Barely a third of the population even knows how to read and write. A lot of it comes down to warfare. The country has suffered countless conflicts over the past few decades, with hundreds of thousands of Afghani citizens losing their lives. In Afghanistan, the number of people who died in an attack on Friday on an education center has risen to 53. It's no wonder the country scores so low for happiness when the people have seen so much destruction. In the last year or so, there have been food shortages too, with millions of people going hungry. Number 145, Lebanon, 2.96. This country has also been rocked by warfare, but its main issues are economic. In the 2010s, they tried to modernize the country, with new skyscrapers appearing in the capital city of Beirut, but the country borrowed too much money and couldn't pay it back. In early 2020, their currency collapsed, and in a matter of months, people lost more than 90% of their savings. Now, a quarter of the country is unemployed. Protests are shut down by violent policing, to make things worse, in 2020, a huge amount of ammonium nitrate exploded in a busy port. This accident caused $15 billion worth of damage, something the country could hardly afford. The mood in Lebanon is at an all-time low, which is why it appears so close to the bottom of the list. Number 144, Zimbabwe, 3.00. When it comes to economic difficulties, it doesn't get much worse than Zimbabwe. In 2009, hyperinflation was so extreme that their currency became virtually worthless. At one point, it cost almost 10 billion Zimbabwean dollars just to buy a loaf of bread. It all came down to financial mismanagement by Robert Mugabe's government. They were also notorious for corruption, violence, and abuses of human rights. That government ruled for 40 years and was linked to tens of thousands of deaths. In 2017, Mugabe was replaced by Emerson Mnangagwa in a military coup but he isn't that much better. Hyperinflation has settled down, but most Zimbabweans are still living in poverty under a corrupt, violent government. Number 143, Rwanda, 3.27. Rwanda's history is scarred with violence, like most of the countries at the bottom end of this list. In 1994, political tensions erupted into genocide when members of the country's Hutu group murdered as many as 800,000 Tutsi people in a span of just 100 days. These events are etched into the collective memory of the Rwandan people, many of whom lost loved ones. In the last few years, the country has tried to recover, with a special focus on tourism. Rwanda has beautiful national parks, complete with mountain gorillas and other wildlife, which many foreigners don't even know about. They recently signed sponsorship deals with Arsenal Football Club and Paris Saint-Germain in the hope of bringing more visitors to the country. And it's working. Tourism rates are rising fast. Maybe over the next few years, life will improve for the people of Rwanda, and they will start to climb this list. Now that we've seen the bottom five, let's jump to the top 10. These countries are more than twice as happy as the places we've looked at so far. Number 10, New Zealand, 7.20. New Zealand is wealthy, well-educated, and generally happy. This cluster of islands in the Southern Hemisphere has a reputation for progressive social policies. In 1893, they became the first country in the world to give the vote to women, and a year later, the first country in the world to introduce a national minimum wage. Despite all that, this country isn't perfect. They have a large Maori population who have a life expectancy almost 10 years lower than the rest of New Zealand. This hints at wealth and healthcare inequality, something the country will need to fix if they want to climb higher up the list. Number 9. Israel, 7.36. Considering the conflict between Israel and Palestine, Israel's appearance in the top 10 countries might come as a bit of a surprise. 
it's mostly due to living standards. Israel is rich and well-developed with excellent healthcare and education. It also has some stunning natural sites like the beaches at Tel Aviv, which help to boost the population's happiness. It's in stark contrast to Palestine, which has a happiness rating of less than five, putting it close to the bottom of the overall list. Number eight, Norway, 7.37. Norway has one of the most generous welfare systems in the world, with universal healthcare and impressive social security. The Norwegians eat healthy fish and seafood, they enjoy outdoor hobbies like hiking and cycling, and they're known for their open and respectful attitudes towards minority groups like the LGBT community. On top of all that, they're wealthy. Norway is a major producer of oil and gas, which boosts the country's economy. On a per capita basis, their GDP is the fourth highest in the world. Number seven. Sweden, 7.38. Just like Norway, Sweden is known for its progressive attitudes, healthy population, and extensive system of welfare. The same can be said for most Nordic countries, which is probably why they score so well when it comes to happiness. There are more of these countries further up the list. The main drawback of living in a place like Sweden is the climate. The winters are long, cold, and dark, and for some people, it's hard to handle but the World Happiness Report has generally found that weather conditions don't make much difference to a country's overall happiness. Citizens get used to the icy winters and even learn to love them. Cozy fires, warm blankets, a cup of cocoa. For many Swedish people, winter is something to enjoy. Number six, Luxembourg, 7.40. Luxembourg is one of the smallest countries in Europe, squeezed between Germany and France, but its size doesn't seem to hold it back when it comes to national happiness. It's been climbing this list for years. It was 10th in 2020, 8th in 2021, and now it's up to number 6. A lot of it comes down to a strong economy based on banking and steel. These industries bring so much wealth to the country that Luxembourg has the highest GDP per capita in the world. Higher incomes don't always lead to happier lives, but it often helps. Luxembourg also has beautiful architecture. The historical quarters in Luxembourg City are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Living alongside such lovely buildings might influence happiness too. Number five, Netherlands, 7.42. Not far from Luxembourg, the Netherlands is renowned for its friendly people, mild climate, and fertile fields full of colorful tulips. It has a progressive attitude. Prostitution is legal with Amsterdam's famous red light district drawing visitors every year. They also have a relaxed approach to marijuana, which can be legally bought in coffee shops around the country. Drugs and prostitution aren't the reason why the Dutch people are happy. Most locals don't even use them, but they're good examples of the nation's relaxed, progressive attitude, with fewer strict and repressive laws than other developed countries. Living in such a relaxed environment is great for overall happiness. Number four, Switzerland, 7.51. Switzerland is probably the most peaceful nation on the planet. It's officially neutral, and they haven't engaged in international war since 1815. We've already seen how warfare damages the happiness of a country. Most of the nations at the bottom of this list are involved in violent conflicts. Switzerland is at the other end of the spectrum. Peace leads to happiness. They also have excellent healthcare and a history of humanitarianism. The Red Cross was founded in Switzerland and works hard to alleviate human suffering all around the world. Number three, Iceland, 7.56. Iceland is another Nordic country with a very similar welfare system to the ones in Norway and Sweden. It's also the safest country in the world with low levels of violent crime. It helps that the population is small and close-knit, almost like one big family. Many of them are actually related. Before dating each other, Icelanders use a special app to check that they're not cousins. Surprisingly, for a country so high up the list, Iceland has high rates of depression, especially in the remotest parts of the country. But they have a positive attitude to mental health with no stigma attached to it. Instead of suffering in silence, people simply visit their doctors and get the help they need. Number two, Denmark, 7.64. This is the fourth Nordic country in the top 10. Clearly, these nations are doing something right when it comes to general happiness. Denmark's happiness is boosted by its tidy cities and clean air. They're the most eco-friendly country in the world with waste-free facilities, solar-powered transport, and organic healthy food. Samso, a tiny Danish island is one of the few places in the world which is completely powered by renewable energy. The people of Denmark are proud of all this and happy to live in a progressive country with its eyes set firmly on the future, but they're still not the happiest country in the world. That title goes to number one, Finland, 7.82.
It comes as no surprise to find another Nordic country sitting at the top of the list. The World Happiness Report has been studying happiness for a decade now, and every single year has found Norway, Sweden, Iceland, Denmark, and Finland in the world's top 10. This probably comes down to hundreds of factors, but according to the report, the main reason is the fact that Nordic countries all have generous welfare systems. It makes a lot of sense when people feel as though the state is looking after them. With free education and free health care, they have fewer worries, fewer stresses, and feel happier in their day-to-day -day lives. How happy do you feel? What score would you give yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more about similar topics, you can watch our video about the richest countries in the world. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.